got to clean this dang van out for this weekend's excursion. Let's see the mess that we left this weekend, yeah? For the video that you guys saw, uh, Lost and Abandoned. Hope y'all like it. A little bit of behind the scenes of what we do here. So we're going to clean the beast out and get her ready for this weekend. And got something up uh, coming for you guys to uh, enjoy. So let's get to cleaning. I was checking the ants earlier. I was checking the amps earlier. I don't know what's wrong. I'm trying to find out why my interior lights do not come on, or how they don't come on, or I don't know why they don't come on at all. But these amps are good. Fuse box is okay. And what I'm talking about is because we have no interior lights when the door opens. It's 9740 Conline E250. Got that V8 engine in there. But we're gonna do some cleaning. And what I'm talking about is these lights right here. These little lights don't come on at all. And I've been trying to figure out why since I bought the van. You guys really haven't seen much of the inside. Y'all really haven't seen much of the inside of this van and how we sleep on locations and stuff like that. I mean, anything but really I haven't seen lately. So, anyhow, things got a little messy up in here. With the, the team just sits up in the middle of my life and the other guy. So, when we sleep on location, my wife and I, as you know, go to the truck stops and the other guys go home. Uh, depending on where we're at. If we have to get a hotel or something like that, then we just have a hotel. Uh, but more than more times than not, we just sleep in the van. Um, I'm actually, as you can tell, sitting in the van right now, trying to figure out what's going on with those little interior lights back there. And we'll clean it a little bit and get it ready for this coming weekend. We're trying to find a couple locations. We got some ideas, but we don't know just yet about what we're going to do. This is what it looks like so far. We had a little bit of a... a little bit of a crew as y'all saw this past weekend, so I'm getting all the, the trash and cleaning up and getting my equipment together and charged. And anyways, there's our entertainment system. We have a 32-inch TV um, that is plugged into... I ran that little wire back here. And you'll, you're seeing our bed. We plug it into a converter box, actually. Here's the converter, little 150 amp converter, which plugs into the cigarette lighter up there. I'm there, and you can see it works. It's just enough to run the TV so we can have some fun while we're watching. We can watch movies or stuff like that while we're parked at the truck stop. Anyhow, a little bit messy back there. I'm showing y'all everything behind the scenes. There's the tripod that y'all were just on. Flashlight, a little bit of tool that I'm using to check the fuses. Sleeping bags. Homemade fan, I'm gonna fix that here better. Because we plugged that into the uh, converter too, right here. There's a little outlet back there that we plug into. Plug this into the cigarette lighter back there and plug the TV into here into the outlet and bam we have TV so this is the back part where we sleep pretty much just some sleeping bags and we throw some pillows back there and sock <laughs> and uh, we had a little bit of a leak actually so I don't know what's going on when we had that rainstorm this past this coming this past weekend we had a little bit of a leak back through here in this area I don't know why but we woke up and it was just wet that's why the blankets like that got to do some laundry laundry day anyway showing y'all a little bit of behind the scenes get this trash out of this van hear everything and I devised a new system for you guys to uh <coughs> throwing the tools out I devised a new system for you guys Okay, 
So this is what it looks like. Um, trying to get as much camera angle as possible. And me and my brain the way I think. So here it is. Got a front camera, left camera, right camera, infrared on top with the RGB lighting system. That's the other camera has got some infrared flash lights on there as well. We're gonna try and use it this weekend. Uh, see if we can get that idea for editing purposes. Uh, so you'll see all the angles. I'm not just a straight on view from the camera at all times. That's, that's what my, I think it's better than that 360 thing that they got going on in the market today. Uh, just my opinion. The way I want to edit, you know? Yeah, I made my editing, editing on the channel here. And we're just cleaning up the van, getting everything ready for this coming weekend. We really don't drive the big van. Uh, we got the minivan and the Jeep is down right now. I'm trying to sell my pickup. Anybody want to buy my pickup? I'll let it go for 1500 Yep, black and red. Oh, that's just being, being out of here. Uh, asking 1800 but you know, 1500 You need to work. You need a lot of work. It's high mileage. Um, it is what it is, you know. It's had a lot of fun, as y'all seen in past videos with that old truck. Time to let it go. Anyhow, back to cleaning. Uh, just doing a little bit of behind the scenes for you guys today. Uh, give you something to look at, a little update, see what's going on in my personal world and whatnot, other than the paranormal stuff that we do. Anyhow. This is the beast. That's the captain's chair, that'd be me. My beautiful wife, Julie. You guys know her, she sits right here at all times. And everybody else just uh, sits back here. She sees her seats right here, that's right here. And then I'm sitting right So it's got four captain's chairs, and the back bed back here is actually a bench seat. That's, it folds flat into a bed and that's how we sleep and that's how we save money on not having to get a hotel I installed this little this little light up here runs off of batteries so that we can have some kind of interior light but I need to somehow figure out this stuff right here again these little lights they don't come on I don't know how to turn them on maybe one of y'all can leave a comment and help me out here I put this TV up, uh, put it on a swivel arm, screwed it down, little cabinets back here, got two of those on each side, that's where the old school TV used to be back there, but back there I got the security camera system set up, it's a permanent station basically, um, for when we're camping and whatnot, and we want to do some paranormal researching and investigating, we can put this security camera system up and plug it into this TV and plug it into the converter, so that's what, that way we can watch the surroundings and call this a base station for the night. But that's what it is, folks. Thought I'd do a little bit of a video. There's our snack pile <laughs> left over from this weekend. You know, as investigators, we got to have our snacks and our drinks, right? Got some water down there. Got the Under Armors. Yeah, looking at my tennis shoes over here, just trying to clean up the trash. Leftover water again. So, I've got my ham radio set up. It's ready to roll. work and always have communication you always need communication my bus itself messed up my CB as y'all can see that's where the dash cam sits I always have a dash cam I leave that recording at all times on, on location and while I'm driving you just never know but up there was my old school CB when I was a truck driver for 20 plus years finally hit the dirt anybody want to give me a new CB so I can have one that'd be great um, if not, I'll just hold off and buy one at later time. But I need a new CB so we can have a communications on the highway. That's that's the gist of everything. And uh, got to figure out what that damn leak back there coming from. It, it uh, we don't know. I'm going to devise a new system for the fan. That's just a, a box fan of some kind that I found and we devised it because we plugged that up too so when we're parked we can have some kind of air but I'm thinking about resetting it somewhere else that just doesn't look right 
I'm trying to stay as original to the van as I can. I really don't want to mess it up too much. It is a 97, but man, them, them lights are up there. They're killing me. I don't know what to do about them. I checked all the fuses and they're just, I don't know. Somebody leave a comment. Help the man out. Still has the back radio. Yes, it does work. Yes, those speakers do work. Um, however, I want to reinstall new speakers back there. Um, probably take the old radio out, put something new in there. Uh, give it a little boom boom in the back. Maybe run it off some alternate power source. I am going to get solar shortly. So we are going to be having a little ice chest back here. Uh, that is my field knife. Um, I do have a pew pew as well that I carry with me at all times, but field knife is a good thing to have. You never know when you're going to need either one. But, um, yeah, this is, this is a beast. My wife has her little cell phone over there. Miss Julie's where she puts her phone over there. When she can watch her little movies and TikToks and whatever that she likes when, she, when we're driving. And, of course, mine's right here so I can see the map when I'm driving. And that's a view from the captain's chair. Pretty much what I see on a daily basis when we go filming. Anyhow. Everything does work. Windows up and down. Everything is in working condition, except for the damn lights. Um, TV speaker is on, off. I'm gonna have to try that out, see what works. Maybe find a way to connect it to the TV up here so we can use our headphones. Figure it out. In due time, we're just cleaning today, doing a little preparation for it this week. What the heck is that? I have no clue what that is. No idea. ADHD is great, isn't it? Ooh, shiny things. Look, oh, red Coke. <laughs> Found a Coke. Left over. All oh, batteries. You can never have enough. Leftover soda. Hey, Coca Cola, sponsor me, yeah? That'd be great. Somebody tag Coke. Tell them to sponsor us. Dropped all my batteries. Spare batteries, spare batteries. Put that over here. Keys. Don't know, I need to figure out that. I need to figure out that lighting situation. Killing me. Wife sold tiny shoes that she uses to hike with. And then on vacation. Look out the window today. Again, just preparation for the weekend, a little behind the scenes cleaning. My whole intention of buying this van, my whole intention of buying this van was to travel with it, right? Before I met Julie, and she became my wife, I was going to do the van life thing. That was my goal. Because I'm into these big travel vans. I am into traveling. I am into filming. I am into whatever that, that goes along with that. So this van will not look the same this time of next year, I promise you. I'll probably do my best to record everything that I do to it. I didn't record the, the way I set up the lights and the off-road lights and the light bar and everything else I didn't record that that's just my fault sorry for that guys but I don't really want to have this turn into a van life travel kind of thing channel I want to kind of stick to my paranormal stuff but, uh, yeah so I bought this van to travel in but my whole thing here you know here in about 10 years I'm gonna be retired well I'm trying to retire anyways right now a little early get on disability and whatnot there in the middle of approving me so if they approve me for that then I can hopefully bring you guys more content on a, on a daily basis instead of a weekend basis type thing anyway this is uh, Dustin I'm your host on a ghost productions just checking in for you guys today and uh, doing a little spring cleaning in the, in the beast here and uh, try to find you guys something to watch this weekend as I look for a new location and uh, go from there Anyways, 
Thanks for watching the little short clip that I'm putting out there today of me spring cleaning the beast back behind me, getting it prepared, washing the clothes and stuff like that. I don't think you guys want to watch that boring stuff. Anyhow, love you guys. Stay safe, be careful. Stay spooky, of course, and, and, and never, never turn the camera on. Always record. Love you guys. Be safe until this weekend. You never know what you're going to do on Hunted Ghost Productions. Well, always a win. Always a surprise. Stay safe. Be careful. Love you all.